So I've been living in a tiny house for about three and a half months now. So here's a little update on the kitchen. So I'm pretty happy with the stove. I have not used the oven yet. Um, it's still the end of the summer. I guess it's technically fall. So it's just a little too warm to use the oven yet, but I would like to try it soon. Um, the stove top has been great. Uh, the flame doesn't look very big, but it definitely works. I don't have any sort of like ventilation or like a fan here. So I do open the casement window right there um, when I am cooking just so I don't die of carbon monoxide. Um, but so far so good. The three burners is plenty. Got all my lovely little pots and pans. Uh, so that's been working well. Um, I do like having everything out and exposed. It makes it super easy to clean up and grab things. So that's been good. Uh, so far, so good with the um, lighting built into the shelving. I've been really, really happy with that. And at night, it's really great if I don't have the main overhead light on because it just um, casts enough light into the house if I just want a little bit of light. Um... That's it for that. And then moving on to the sink. Um, I absolutely love having this right here. It just adds more countertop space. I try not to use it. I have another um, cutting board that I put on top of it because I'm trying to have it last as long as possible. One issue that I have had, which I think might be fixable, is it gets warped really easily. So I'm thinking about varnishing or something the bottom of it. Um, I just think the moisture from the sink is causing it to warp which is kind of a bummer, but so far so good. And then I've been really, really happy with the sink. It's a perfect size. This is the granite composite, which um, I've heard horrible, horrible reviews about, but I bought one anyway, and I haven't had any issues at all. And I have really hard water here, and I haven't had any issues with hard water stains. Uh, when I do dishes, what I do is I have this little um, dish drying rack, which I mean, it's kind of maxed out right now, but for my pots and pans, I have, oops, sorry. I have this, which I set out. Um, I just did um, some dishes, that's why it's all wet. And then I put them here, let them dry, and then hang them back up. So that's been working out really, really well. Here is my refrigerator. I got it at Home Depot, and I think it was like $200, so very, very affordable. Um, it has been the perfect size, not too much in there. And then refrigerator, I really couldn't be happier with it. Now you can see what I eat. And I have been super busy these past few months, so I really haven't been cooking all that much. So when I do cook, it is a disaster zone. There's just stuff everywhere. But it works, and with the um, countertop height table over here, that helps a lot to just have some added space. As far as storage, I haven't really had too much of an issue. Again, I'm not cooking as much as I thought I would. Usually I cook like five days a week and eat out two days a week, and it's kind of been the opposite. Um, so I don't have like all of the ingredients that I would normally have if I were cooking almost every single day. Um, but again, it hasn't been too much of an issue. Um, I'm really happy with the storage in here and the organization and love those soft closed drawers. Um, this is just my junk drawer with miscellaneous stuff. And then all my storage containers. And again, I'm so glad I added this extra storage down here. So I have like um, hand towels and stuff and soap. So that really helps with storage. Um, yeah, this is just boring stuff. As far as trash, um, I just have a little trash can in there. And then um, recycle, I either have like a little basket or I just put it on the floor like you see there. And then right here in the corner is my compost bin. And the compost really, really helps because then I don't have to take out the trash every single day um, because those are the smelly things. So that's good.